The House comes to questions for oral answer. Question number one, in the name of Alistair Scott. Mr Speaker, question to the Minister of Finance. What reports has he received on, on the economy, particularly on the direction of interest rates and inflation? Honourable Bill English. Uh, Mr Speaker, this morning the Reserve Bank Governor uh, conducted his regular review of the official cash rate, uh, which he confirmed will remain at 3.5 per cent, which is low by historical standards. Uh, as I noted in the House yesterday, consumer price inflation at 1 per cent is right at the bottom of the Reserve Bank's target band, despite strong economic growth and real wage growth. Uh, the Governor noted New Zealand's economic growth has been faster than trend over 2014, which has helped to reduce unemployment and added to demands on productive capacity. He added that low interest rates, construction sector activity and high net immigration continue to support economic growth. Uh, he said there would be a period of assessment before any further policy adjustment, which we think means that it would be some time before he raises the overnight cash rate. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Alistair Scott. Uh, what, to the Minister, what observations did the Reserve Bank Governor make about inflation and the outlook for the cost of living? Honourable Bill English. Mr Speaker, the Governor noted that the consumer inflation uh, remained modest at the right at the bottom of the bank's target band at 1%. Now, the factors contributing to low inflation include subdued wage inflation, uh, well-anchored inflation expectations because we have a, uh, a robust policy targets agreement with the Reserve Bank Governor. He also referred to weak global inflation, falls in oil prices and the high New Zealand dollar. Uh, he pointed out that house price inflation has also fallen significantly since late 2013, partly due to interest rate increases and partly due to LVR restrictions. He noted that inflation remains low despite stronger growth. Supplementary question, Alistair Scott. How is the current low interest rate environment and the growing economy being reflected in business confidence and investment? Honourable Bill English. Well, Mr Speaker, I think the uh, dawning realisation that interest rates will not reach the peaks that they did in 2008, in fact, could peak at a much lower rate than the 10 per cent they reached then, uh, is good for business confidence. ANZ reported that business confidence rebounded in October above its long-run average. A net 27 per cent of firms are optimistic about their general prospects, up 14 points on September, which may be related to the outcome of the general election. Uh, these expectations are consistent with solid growth, uh, good employment and investment intentions among businesses. Uh, the Statistics New Zealand numbers show that business investment increased by 7.7 per cent in the year to June, uh, led by investment in construction and infrastructure. Supplementary question, Alistair Scott. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Uh, to the Minister, how do current interest rates compare with historic levels? And how is this being reflected in mortgage and business lending rates? Honourable Bill English. Well, Mr Speaker, it's usually the case that as the economy goes through a growth cycle, interest rates uh, rise considerably. Uh, and the government has work, been working hard to, to do what it can to ensure that interest rates in this economic cycle remain lower for longer, because that would be good for households and businesses and prevent a build-up of imbalances. Uh, we have focused on tight fiscal policy, which has uh, enabled interest rates to stay lower for longer, and also taken an active approach to sorting out the housing market, which has been one of the biggest drivers of mortgage rates in previous cycles. Uh, average residential floating mortgage rates remain quite low at around 6.7 per cent in this cycle, the average business lending rate below 6 per cent. Uh, these equivalent rates were, back in 2008, home mortgage rates 11 per cent rather than 6.7, and business lending rates were 9.2 per cent rather than the current 6 per cent. Supplementary question, right honourable Winston Peters. How do New Zealand's interest rates compare to those of Japan, China, the UK, Europe and the USA? 
Honourable uh, Bill English. Well, Mr Speaker, I know, I, I know the member doesn't like good news, but the good news is that New Zealand did not have a two-decade recession like Japan, so our interest rates are higher. Our interest rates are a bit higher than the UK, which is a place where real incomes were cut by up to 10 per cent as a result of the recession. Uh, they're a bit higher than the US, where the housing market collapsed and middle, in, middle class incomes haven't moved for 10 years, so it's not a bad problem to have. Question number two, Bill Twyford.